Alright guys, today I'm going to be installing my short throw shifter kit on the Eclipse, which is what I'm sitting in. There's stock shifter, here's the new short shifter and all of its hardware and whatnot. I don't really know how it goes together, it didn't come with instructions, I haven't looked it up, but I should be able to figure it out just by looking at it. If not, I'll, I'll go online and look it up. Basically a short shifter works by raising the pivoting point of the shifter on your car so raising the shifter point higher makes the bottom the very end of your shifter move further with less movement up on top now by short shifter we don't mean just cutting the top down and lowering it like what was previously done in my golf it's uh keeping the length of the top of the shifter the same while raising it up and increasing the length of the bottom portion. By just cutting your shifter shorter and lowering your shift knob and trying to make a uh, short shifter is the wrong way to go about it. You can actually hurt the synchronizers on your transmission by doing that. Plus it'll make your car harder to shift and potentially less comfortable. Now some cars do come with ungodly long shifters but uh, and doing that does help a few but I wouldn't ever go and cut your your original shifter never do that which is why i hated that it had been done to the golf because i had to go buy an entirely new shifter box because they don't make any short shift kits or anything i could have made or gotten for the car to fix it so first thing i got to do is i got to remove my center console in this thing right here which is actually very easy there's two bolts up here two bolts in the side and it comes off since this car is totally gutted this is just zip tied on the boot so it'll all just come off first things first let's Cut the zip tie off. Just throw that down there. Now the boot is free and it will slide over the shift knob, which honestly I don't even know how it comes off of here. I don't know what kind of shift knob it is. I do have shift knobs from the Golf I can put on here if I have to. Even though they're both blue and they'll look kind of funny, they'll work for now. Alright, and now let's. There we go. That's off. Let's get that. And now I gotta get to the two back there, which I have to move the seats for. Which I'll probably have to move the camera for, so. Alright, I got the other bolt off. So now I should be able to remove the console. So there's the stock shifter. So basically what I was talking about before about the raising the pivoting point is basically right here is the lower point and then up here is the center. So what this kit is going to do is it's going to keep the, dis the distance from the pivoting point to the top where the shift knob is at the same, but it's going to raise everything up and it's going to increase the length from the pivoting point to the bottom. So the amount of movement you're doing up top increases the amount of movement happening on the bottom so and I don't I don't think this kit changes the side to side at all because it really wouldn't need to I think it's just the forward to back which is the most important and this car already has a pretty short throw factory so there's third gear let me push the clutch in if I can reach it to fourth gear so third the fourth so it looks like it'll be pretty easy to remove this somehow goes in there actually I think I've already figured it out I think this bolts in and this flat side rests against here but I'll figure that out first thing I got to do is remove this so this little locking pin has to come off and then this bolt comes off and this top handle should just drop right off of there and then we'll start bolting the rest of it in. I got new hardware and whatnot that came with it and everything. And then we'll get to test it out. All right, so I got the cotter pin out of the cable and it went flying somewhere, so I'm probably not gonna find it. I have another thing, a cotter pin somewhere that I, like a universal kit, but I don't know where it's at, so hopefully I'll be able to find it. But there's 
hardware off of the end. And wow, there it is. That's the stock shifter. The shift knob is like glued in there. That's weird. That's really weird. Anyway, what I think happens here is this goes on, I think it slides on like that, uh, maybe not, I don't know, oh there's a, it came off with it, this little plastic bushing which is broken, now it should slide all the way on, or not, that's interesting. I'm going to have to figure out how this thing is actually supposed to go together because I honestly don't know. Alright, so I figured out a little bit. First of all, this little stud right here is what the cable goes on to, which is nice. It fits right in the cable because it uses a little, not a pin thing, but this little clip instead of the pin. So the fact that I lost a pin doesn't matter. And it goes on the bottom, and I'm assuming there's two bolt holes so that you have an option as to where you want to mount this and I'm trying to figure out how this thing goes on still but it's looking like it it only really slides on it still doesn't slide on I'm still trying to figure this part out I think it goes like that but then I don't know how the actual shifter bolts onto it so I'm going to have to go on my phone and look up a video on how to do this because I don't know how this thing goes together. Alright, so I got this red piece on. I had to go and take the grinder and the file to it, smooth it down just a little bit, and then I was able to get it to force on. It's either my car is a little bit weird or this thing was just made a little bit too thick right here. So how that works is that raises the point where the, the uh, actual shifter pivots up to here from down here where the stock one was at and if I can show you the stock shifter the uh, oh if I can get it to sit if you look from where the center of the hole is where it pivots to where the bottom of it is the aftermarket one is longer so that's where you get your longer throw and this is cool because it gives the aftermarket one gives you two different spots so I've got it set on the shorter setting if I were to raise it up it would be almost the same as the stock shifter but it would raise it up higher still really cool so um, now I can get it all put back together <laughs> Alright, so I got the clip on the cable down there. I got everything bolted and tightened up as you saw. I got the shift knob right here. I'm going to screw this thing into it a little bit and then we'll thread it on. It's going to have to have the blue shift knob for a little bit because I don't have anything else that I can put on it. This is the actually, well, I have the old, old knob off the Golf the other blue one that used to be on it but this one's weighted and it at least doesn't have like the gear locations on it so blue shift knob will have to do for now wow that sits a lot higher than it did before which is cool because it means it's closer to the steering wheel that's quite a bit that right here is where the stock one sat that's where the new one sits that's incredible and the throw is shorter so let's test that so here we go Oh, it'll help if I push the clutch in. We're in neutral. Let's push the clutch in. Go to third. And then back. That's so short. That is crazy. Let me see if I can... And it feels a lot better. And being closer to the steering wheel is nice because it means a distance from here to here is shorter. And if you're actually going around a track or just trying to drive it normal even, that makes a difference. Now everything is really tight um, up here just because it's all new. Once I drive it and shift it a little bit, it should break itself in. 
It also gives me a little bit more leverage to go into gear, which is nice. I like it. I'm very happy with that. That was nice. This thing was pretty cheap too. I don't remember how much. So yeah, that's how to install short shifter on a DSM. This is one of my favorite things to do to any car is to put a shorter throw shifter on it. It just makes the car a million times better to drive. It makes it so much better. And it will actually make your car faster because you're spending less time going from gear to gear without actually adding power to it, which is nice as well. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure to like button and subscribe for more. Also, make sure to go hit up uh, 802 Garage. Subscribe to him. Watch his build on his uh, GSX and anything else he's working on currently. And I'll see you guys later.